Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at Wicked Cool Toys Halo Infinite Series 118 scale Mongoose with Master Chief. So this is the packaging that it comes in. As you can see, it's pretty beat up. Got this from Amazon if you're interested in purchasing this for $19.99. This looks to be one of, you know, the best uh, 118 scale vehicles that are on the market today. It follows suit with their very cool Warthog. Um, so, just for your information, I got this from Amazon and it was thrown in a box, no packing, and box was oversized. And this is what you get for your hard earned money. And I'm starting to see a trend between um, Amazon and Walmart. They don't care. Or to care about your purchases. They want your money. They throw their stuff in a box. They don't care what kind of condition you get it in. That's just a heads up. Not for me. I don't really care too much about the packaging itself. Because I'm going to open it and dispose of the packaging. But for you carded collectors out there. This has to be a nightmare for you. And uh, and just out of respect for customers that are purchasing you know doing business with you this is just ridiculous to get your product regardless if you're opening it or not um so i guess your opinion is going to vary i feel a little irritated because it's like you know i know there's a lot of collector collectors out there that would buy this to keep it in a package and it just feels you know you feel disrespected when you when you you, you spend your hard-earned money on a product and this is what you get, and you know that this is in the condition they got it in. So, just so as a heads up, and where you can get this at. For $19.99, in my opinion, this thing's a steal. Um, it's fantastic. And so let's take a look at the box real quick, and we'll get into the actual quad. Halo at the top left, Master Chief, bottom left. The center, Mongoose was Master Chief, Halo Infinite logo. These uh, are recommended for ages 8 and up, and this is, says one set right there all mashed. Uh, New World of Halo Scale, which is your 118 scale. Side of box, UNSC logo, Halo Infinite. Not much to see on the packaging. Master Chief running on the back, Halo on the top. On the side, not much to see either. And I will say, uh, I haven't heard a lot of different opinions on the... Uh, packaging design the warthog itself is fantastic and I, just by looking at this this looks just amazing also 1999 you get this quad and an accessory and a master chief which they've been doing to death i get it but my point is this if they want to sacrifice all the little print all the little stuff on the back give you a basic package i'm cool with it you don't have those 10 languages for one you don't have a bunch of crap on here no one really cares about and so they spend their money manufacturing these manufacturing these products on the actual stuff you're getting like your quad and your figure you know if you want to give me a basic packaging and give me an amazing toy amazing amazing collectible at $19.99 I'll take it any day of the week now that's for loose collectors. If you're a car collector, I get it. But for me and anybody out there that is going to buy these things and open them up and do whatever you want to do with them, I'll take it. I mean, if we can save the value, put it into the product, not the packaging. I mean, honestly, it's a toy. Open up, play with it. That's what it's made for. But let's get this thing open and out of the box. See what we got. A razor knife. Let's tape on the back top on the side there. Just guys be careful with these actor knives you guys are using your knives. You don't cut yourself very easily to do that. For different people that has been using them for crafts or hobbies or a work thing, you definitely cut yourself and you know that's not a good experience. There we go. Box is incredibly destroyed. So here we have the quad. 
So we just pour this out and we have this yellow piece. Nothing here to go on the back and nothing to ties. That's good. See what I'm saying? Like really none of that extra stuff that costs, you know, extra money to manufacture. So the clamshell here. They are zip tied in. Not really zip tied. More of a, um, it's not really tied. It kind of pushed through. Here, if you can see that. It's kind of popped through and spread out like a wing type connector. I'm going to go ahead and get these out of there. I'm going to take a look at it. So here he is, free from the packaging. Um, there's only one of those clips holding the quad in, one for the bazooka and two for Master Chief around the ankles and around the waist. So, I mean, it's bare minimum holding these guys in, which is fantastic. You're not spending hours and hours trying to get the stuff out of packaging. So let's take a look at the Master Chief. Um, it kind of looks like a lot of the Master, she Master Chiefs that we uh, have been seeing. The one that come with the Warthog and the multi-packs and the... Um, single pack let's take a quick look at comparison with the master chief that came with the uh, warthog so this is the one that came with the quad and this is the one that came with the warthog looks to be this is pretty much the same to me Back looks the same, front looks the same. Yep, exactly the same figure. All right, so let's take a look at the figure first. Um, just basically the same we're used to seeing, like I said, um, he has the orange visor, green throughout black. He has some blasts of scoring here on his chest. He has a 117 right there. Some white in there. He does have some like silver wash throughout his armor, for, like to show some wire. For the articulation, his head does turn right, does turn left, goes down, up. Oh, you're not gonna be able to get it to go 360 because of the actual armor. His arms do rotate 360 all the way around on both sides. They will raise up about that much due to the sculpt and armor he has a elbow 360 does have bendable elbows so it gets you about it won't get you 90 it's about the range you can get definitely shine wrist to turn 360 and there's a down and an up on that hand and a down and up on this hand he does have a waist or an ab crunch kind of a side to side mm, doesn't well it's not going to do a 360 on the figure he does sit perfectly well You can just a there is a uh, thigh swivel there. The figure. He has double jointed knees, which are ratcheted. I didn't get you that much of a bend ratio, which is fantastic for the size of this figure. He does have a pivot down and a 360 all the way around. And they will pivot up farther than the down. Very cool. So this is what we're used to seeing for the Master Chief. Nothing different. Just a same figure released. Um, the, only thing I mean, the only thing I did notice at my local Walmart, for example, where they, were, they have like eight pegs for the Halo um, solo figures. So four of them are just completely filled with Master Chief. And the other four are kind of empty. And they have maybe one of the white Spartans on there and the pilot and maybe there's not 
much room for you know the new wave which is you know, everybody's looking for so but then these Master Chiefs peg warming so much, it's going to be kind of difficult to walk into your local brick and mortar store and pick up um, the newer wave because you know, their inventory, like my Walmart, for example, is going to show, you know, I got 25 of these in stock, so we're not going to, we don't need any more. So that's a, I mean, that's kind of a bad thing. So I think, you know, Wicked Cool Toys needs to back off on, you know, all these Master Chiefs. Yes, he's you know the he's in the popular character of the of the franchise, but you're going to um, saturate the market with the Master Chiefs, and you're not going to get your new product to to the store shelves so you can sell it and make your money and make the you know c consumer happy. So, but there's always the internet. Um, but uh, like I said, you just see in the box like condition I got, and if you're looking for something that. You know, it's in nice condition for your for your wall. You, you might watch where you buy them from, or you're gonna pay. You know, these things are only ten bucks. You're gonna pay shipping, and you're gonna pay whatever else on top of you know the scalping prices. It's nice to walk into a Walmart or something and get something for you know retail price for. <laughs> Based on it's impossible anymore, and it's a shame. So, um, if you guys are seeing that in your in your areas comment down below let, you know let me know i'm curious to see how many master chiefs, chiefs are out there pig warming it's actually becoming a problem he also got this very cool rocket launcher i do like this sculpt it looks fantastic um we have the gray gray plastic and this painted some black which looks great in my opinion let's see how well master chief holds this thing Okay, it looks like he holds it really well. I think this is a fantastic looking bazooka rocket launcher. Not sure what the official name for this is for the Halo franchise. Um, you know, it's one of the things I really appreciate about this is like you can you start releasing a product like you, you we got the um. Warthog and some other figures, and then this set they threw in this bazooka. Now they could easily threw in another same weapon that came with uh, all the other Master Chiefs, his blaster. But they threw in this different accessory, so you kind of build your collection as you as you go through the waves and through the series. Um, so you're not getting you know Master Chief with the blaster. Yes, yeah, so we're getting another Master Chief. Okay, that's that's not cool. Could have been, you know, something else. But they gave you at least a different weapon to build on to your arsenal, to your collection, which expands your playability, which I think is fantastic. They added this bazooka. Looks very cool. I do like it and do appreciate it very much. So let's take a look at the uh, the mongoose itself. So let's start with the front of this thing. We have the green, which is, I love this green, and it looks like it's going to match the Warthog perfectly. We will definitely take a look at a comparison here shortly. But on the front, we do have these rails. They look thin, but you know what? They're solid. There's a little bit of flexibility here in the front, but on the side here, there's enough support here to keep that nice and solid. If they were to put one just like right here to the front of this, that would have been, you know, solid totally solid but that's where it's missing the support but it's actually solid than I thought it was going to be so that's that's a plus we have these type of gray headlights green on the front on the side here we have you have some red here at the bottom and throughout the black and the green there is actually a silver dry brushing for some wire it looks fantastic Hope that's coming through. We have the seat, which is a mm, black under the bottom here, but the seat's gray. I do like how the rims look. It looks like, look, it has hubcaps on it. So you can see, like, the gray underneath and then the, the green on top. These are, mm, they're, they're hard tires. They're not, they feel kind of like I have rubber, but they're very, very hard. So... 
on the rear of the quad we have two feet rest here so we have this is a unique style quad um, we can sit the character back to back with the, uh, the driver and his feet go on here and it does have one of those black rails here like on the front um, very very supported here and on the side a little flexible in the front there but uh, that's good I did notice like if you take a look at this side real quick and then once we flip this bad boy over there's a lot more heavy brushing on this side see the silver dry brushing here throughout the body especially back here there's a lot of so it does give it a different feel when you have it one way versus the other and there's some heavy dry brushing there down on here that wasn't on this side as much so it gives you it's not mirrored so it gives you a, you know some some uh, difference in your uh, in your sculpt very cool heavy dry brushing there on the top of the card we do have the logo there on just in the center we have the UNSC we have some some dry brushing there looks fantastic this feels solid in the front nice plastic it's not cheap you know this is a very valued collectible very hard plastic not brittle a good it's like it could survive you know some you know, heavy play with your kids the only thing I can see breakable is these rails for kids but if you're an adult collector you're not gonna break those here we have the actual um, grips some red here and here we have the brakes handles some more dry brushing the seat we do have a red bar right here on the top So of all it looks fantastic now for playability we have seems to roll really nice it does have that vibration when it rolls because of the knobby tires there's no flexibility in the front they just roll but in the back we have this so we can adjust these where you want you can bring these down give it more of an upward so if you're and being chased and you're having a battle you can shoot upward or you can lower it down to a flat level surface I mean, you can go mid-grade like that it's not ratchet it's kind of just tight so it may lose its um ability to stay like that that's the way keeping up besides the friction but it looks fantastic so, very cool. Let's take a look and see how Master Chief fits on it. Oh yeah, when we saw the articulation, I did forget to show you. Um, he does spread his legs very well, so that's going to help with his ability to sit on the quad. So I'll give you what that looks like. You know, I was kind of used to, I mean, probably already know from all of our Master Chief purchases what, what the range is, but I thought I'd point that out real quick. Okay, there he is on the quad. He fits relatively nice. Um, I don't think I've ever found a figure in all my collection, in my experience, that's ever been perfectly fitted on a, on a quad. But um, he kind of does sit more to the front. You can get his feet on the pegs, which is very nice. You can get him to hold the handlebars. And with his articulation, he can look down and up. She looks pretty good from the front. Kind of like I say he sits more towards the front, more like in a prone position. So if you had like a, you know, maybe Master Chief's girlfriend, he can she can sport her on the back there. 
But if you want them to sit, that's about the best you're going to get for a uh, sitting position. Kind of gives me a dynamic look, I guess. Like he's really trying to, you know, ride this thing pretty good. Let's go ahead and see if we can throw somebody on the back of the bike. And see what we can, uh, see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like with one of the other Halo characters on the back. The only thing weird about this is it really has nothing really to really hold on to. I mean, um, playing with that too much may make that break if you try to get your figures to hold on. That's cool. Kind of a prone position. Be nice to have like a you know twin machine gun on there. They'd probably weigh down a quad there. Alright, let's take a look at another figure. Okay, here's what's one of the other Spartans. Looks great. The one thing I did notice about like um, the back of here for for this figure, he has a similar sculpt to Master Chief. It's basically a repaint, but then this blue Spartan has a different sculpt. So when you put his legs together, it kind of it kind of makes it a little difficult to get him to hold on the peg. So his feet does reach the peg. So this figure is the same as Master Chief. So that's how Master Chief would fit too, just so you know. That's cool. Not sure if you could get all three Spartans, you know, maybe in an emergency situation for x -Fail. That's not bad. I mean, if you had to, I mean, if you were getting, if you were losing the battle, you needed to get to get out as quickly as possible. That mm -hmm. could work out. Three, three Spartans on it, one mongoose. I mean, what's not wrong with that, right? Looks cool. I like it. All right. Let's see what else we can take a look at. Alright, I think Master Chief fits probably the best on there. That's very cool. Seems like our uh, our blue Spartan is going to have the most difficulty sitting on the driver's seat for this due to his design. Yeah. Somebody's his legs don't cooperate as well. All right, here's a white Spartan driving. That's pretty good.
for your G.I. Joe collectors out there. This is what it looks like with a G.I. Joe. That's pretty good. The Spartans are meant to be a bigger figure, kind of like your your Predators. Um, so this quad's going to be just a little bit bigger. It makes it look the 118 scale Joe's. Kind of looks like this is a 116 scale quad, but this is a 118 scale quad. So, And for your acid rain collectors, it fits pretty nice for the acid rain. Not too bad. Kind of keeps flopping around a little bit, but looks you could use it with the acid rain, no problem. Very nice. And how here's how it looks with a Joy Toy figure from my fellow Joy Toy collectors. It's really good. His hands will fit on her if you guys want to, you know, fine tune it. But just trying to give you guys an idea how it looks. Butt is off the seat a little bit. Like I said, I think uh, because of the, you know, Master Chief being a seven foot tall soldier versus, you know, your average size soldier, you're going to get a, a little an appearance of a bigger quad for more of your average size. 118 scale figures. So there's kind of a look at all the figures um, that we looked at on the quad and how they scale with the uh, Master Chief. He is definitely going to be a taller figure due to the sure fact that he's a taller figure in, in the storylines. So here he is with a Predator. You can see he's about the same height as a 118 scale Predator. Just so, so he would be perfect to hunt down and fight predators in your storylines. Well, that's about all I got for you guys. Hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this look at the the new mongoose. I highly recommend it. I mean, the sheer value of this is pretty awesome, and uh, I would highly recommend you picking that up. Um, I did forget one thing before we go. I did promise you guys to uh, do a comparison with the Warthog. And I almost forgot until I looked over. So, there's here's the Warthog. And here is the Mongoose. Let's see if I can get that to really come in. So as you can see, the color and pattern is the same. They look fantastic together. Looks amazing. In my opinion, looks great. For height-wise, this is how they scale. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Um. No, maybe the mongoose is just a sh tad bit different shade of green. And this is just the lighting. They look amazing. And just for another comparison, here we have the acid rain sand trailer. <laughs> Looks like it may, if you can figure out how to pull that bad boy, it'll look pretty cool. Yeah, we definitely could hook something up there on the back of here. Maybe that hole right there. It'd be kind of cool. Alright guys, well hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Please like and share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any questions you may have. And uh, highly recommend it. $19.99 on Amazon. Is the best place I found to get it. Spend it for twenty five bucks, get it for free shipping, or if you have Amazon Prime, it's free shipping, of course. So happy collecting! Keep watching all the great videos here on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you in the next review.